Hello friends, it's Shalay here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my journey. So as you can tell by the title, I am going to be talking about four essential skills that you need to start your nursing program and also just to get through the whole nursing program. So before we start this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also comment down below and let me know if you're new and we can be friends because I don't have any friends. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> don't mind my voice today. It's kind of like in and out and yeah, let's just get into the video. So the first one that I want to talk about, which is really essential and I'm pretty sure you've already heard this before, is time management skills. Um, in a program like mine that's accelerated, so it's very, very fast paced and you could have three classes in one mod and each week you have an exam that's extremely important towards your grade so you want to make sure that you're studying and that you're doing the best to prepare for these exams and time management skills will help you with that um, also just getting a planner and writing things out and making sure you abide by you know what you set in your planner that will also help with time management skills and um, yeah, you just got to be very strict with yourself and not overdo things that, you know, you're just not supposed to be doing or, you know, just just being strict with yourself. I would say like that's that's the best, you know, advice I can give with that. So, yeah, on to the next one. <laughs> Number two, I would say is um, find techniques that help you get over stress. Um, Know exactly what you need that'll help you eliminate stress. Some is music, um, which I guess helps me sometimes. Um, I usually just like to watch YouTube. <laughs> um, some people exercise, um, some people clean. Um, just, you know, some people have many different techniques that help them like relax themselves and just get over stress. Some people take a long bath, um, that helps. And yeah, you just gotta find what relieves your stress because you're gonna be stressed a good amount of the time. So you wanna help eliminate that stress so that you can be you know, more successful mentally and physically and everything else, yeah. <laughs> okay, the third one I would say is have a plan. And I know you're thinking like, what, what do you mean? What do you mean have a plan? Like you need a plan B with everything because Luckily, okay, so like a couple weeks ago, I was leaving school and my tire like literally bust when I was leaving school. So I left school and I realized that it had busted and then I turned into some place like down the street, like across the street a little bit and I'm just like, oh my God, I was not prepared for this. Luckily, it was after class. Now, what if that had happened before class? What would you have done to get to class fast enough? What would you have done to get to clinicals fast enough, which is even more like, oh my God, I have to be there on time. I have to be 15 minutes prior. Like clinicals is a whole nother story. They're not taking any excuses, any late, you know, tardy people or anything like that. So what would you have done? You know, you have to have a plan B with everything. I've been having babysitter issues lately, um, you know, between finding somebody to watch my daughter and daycare, it's like, what the heck? But you always have to have a plan B. Don't ever forget that because things happen, you know, life is going to test everybody once you're in the program and you have to just find a way to get through it. So. Don't ever forget that, have a plan B, have a backup plan for everything. And I think I said that like 15 times, so yes. On to number four. <laughs> okay, so the fourth one and the last one I would say is, what do you guys think it is? Pause the video, what do you guys think it is? Give up, <laughs> I'm just playing. Okay, so the last one is, um, being optimistic and I know you're probably questioning this one too why do you have to be optimistic well you have to be optimistic because you don't know how your clinicals are gonna flow you might go to some place where you don't really like which I know we have a um, 
our first rotation in clinicals is at this convalescent home and you know there's a bunch of talk about it you know it's dirty oh it stinks in there oh um you know this place sucks and it's just like you have to be optimistic you know just because somebody else don't like it don't mean you won't like it or even if you don't like it you know you just have to get through it so you always have to just be open-minded to you know what comes next um you have to be open-minded with who they partner you with for your clinical rotations you have to be open-minded with who they ask you to partner up with for a regular class project which i had that a couple weeks ago and yeah you know what you just don't know who you're gonna be partnered with so yeah get ready because it might not be the friend you just made it might be the one that you find yourself not really getting along with in class so hint hint <laughs> just be open-minded that's that's pretty much all i can say about that so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i helped as much as possible and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my youtube channel and comment down below that you're a new subscriber so we can be friends so yeah okay i, I keep itching because sometimes like the hair just keeps like popping on my chin and that's so annoying but yeah it's not like i have a rash or anything so yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.